This morning on Eat This, Not That, holiday treats. If you're racing around shopping and grab a muffin or a coffee drink on the go, watch out. If you don't make smart choices, Santa will not be the only one sporting a big belly this season. David Zenko is the author of the New York Times bestseller, Eat This, Not That, 2012. David, good morning. Great hey, to see you. Great to see you, Lester. The, the holiday treats are always fun. Starbucks yeah. always comes out with a nice little holiday-themed drink, but... yeah. There's but, not always the healthiest. No, sometimes uh, you see the red, it means stop, that's a festive cup. I mean, in this case, what you have is a peppermint mocha, um, and it's it's a little bit of a peppermint fatty, we should say. Delicious, um, by the way. It's got over 400 calories, it's got a half day's worth of saturated fat, and it's also got uh, 54 grams of sugar. The so equivalent to all these marshmallows? Yeah, so half a bag of marshmallows right there if you get this. But what you want to do is enjoy the holiday season. So the much better choice is go ahead and customize your holiday treat, get a cappuccino, ask them for a couple pumps of the peppermint syrup. That's you're gonna the end syrup up, there. Okay. You're going to end up saving 300 calories and loads of sugar. 300 calories, that's 300. significant. All right, the, uh, the muffin is always a popular treat. Yeah, but they were. It's loaded with calories. Too. It is. It is loaded with so many. It's over 600 calories, uh, Lester. It is actually seven grams of saturated fat. This is from Dunkin. From Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. 56 grams of sugar. Okay, it ends up being the equivalent of five bowls of cinnamon toast crunch right here. Okay, so the much better choice when you're at Dunkin's is grab four Munchkins. Okay, you got. It's it's plenty. I'd rather eat those anyway, and you're going to end up saving 400 calories and a boatload of sugar. That's a lot. Yeah. All right. Here, what do we got here? Okay, so now this is the peanut butter, the Reese's peanut butter snowman, okay? It is truly abominable. It is <laughs> 760 <laughs> calories, 760. Oh okay, you know you're gonna be eating a lot of holiday treats, so keep the serving size small. And this once I unwrap that, okay. I eat the whole, you're gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah, and it's a whole day's worth of saturated fat, and it ends up being the calorie equivalent of these seven cups of hot chocolate, okay? okay. The Swiss Miss Rich Hot Cocoa. So again, go with, go with the Reese's tree, you're gonna end up saving 600 calories you know you're going to be eating a lot of Same flavor, candy. but smaller. Yes, exactly. All right. And this, <laughs> look at this. This is yet another IHOP, uh, IFLOP, I should say. Um, this is their, <laughs> this is their eggnog pancakes. It's fat enough in a glass, Lester. Now it's here for breakfast. It is 2,000 calories. It is two of to three it is. days worth of saturated fat, okay? And it's got 63 grams of sugar right here okay? okay you know santa ate this and then rudolph strained an oblique <laughs> on takeoff <laughs> this is the calorie equivalent of these 66 ginger snaps <laughs> right here okay so you're at ihop all right you want to avoid the i flop go with the simple and fit menu the pumpkin pancakes it's 400 calories you're saving a half a pound of belly fat and right you, here. And you still got a little whipped cream on top. Yeah, so. it's all about and making smart and smart swaps. And it's a, it's, a, it's a portion thing as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's but you can't control the portions at a restaurant. They bring what they bring. Right, so you got to saw it in half or bring four friends or, you know, know the score, know what, what's in the stuff. Contrary to popular belief, you're not a buzzkill because you always yeah. bring a good alternative. There you go. David Zizanko. Thanks very much.